The spirit of the East African community is once again being tested by business interest, with two member states, Kenya and Uganda, bickering over milk exports. Kenyan authorities recently impounded and blocked the supply of milk and milk products from Uganda. Lato milk produced by Pearl Dairy Farms Limited has specifically been targeted. The key contention rises out of the export of milk to Kenya from Uganda. In 2019, Uganda produced an estimated 2.6 billion liters of milk but only consumed 1 billion liters. This means the remaining 1.6 billion liters have to go somewhere. Kenya has been a big importer of mil Ugandan milk on the fact that our production is a bit cheaper. Our cattle, we still have enough land and we do what we call free range. The new Minister for East African Community Affairs, Kahinda Utafire, echoed the need for the full implementation of the Common Market and Custom Union protocols. Who says if Kenya can produce telephones cheaper than Uganda? Who says Ugandans should not buy cheaper phones from Kenya? But there should be made slaves of the Uganda manufacturer. This is a free economy. We should compete. Ugandan authorities have now advised Pearl Dairy Farms Limited, the producers of Lato Milik, to cease exports as they wait for the response from Kenyan authorities. The country recently filed a protest note with the Kenyan authorities. Response on the race issues is expected by Friday this week. The Kenyan uh, government has made a claim that uh, Uganda could not be producing the amount of milk we are having now. We, as a ministry, we allowed the ministry, the people from Kenya, the technical team, to come here and uh, do the verification. Farmers in Uganda are jittery and farm gate prices of milk have dropped to as low as 300 shillings in the southwestern part of the country. You can imagine, for those days to date, when they have not been taking milk, 60 southern liters of milk not being supplied anywhere, anywhere is a big loss. It is not the first time industrialists and traders are confronted by the non-tariff protectionist tendencies by the partner states of the East African community. Previously, Kenya banned exports of Ugandan sugar to the country. Tanzania stretched to banning of locally produced petroleum product. On tariff barriers we have been trying to fight them so that at least there is a seamless, seamless flow of goods and services. But it's not happening. Uganda's position at the moment is of no retaliation against some of the practices by the member states of the East African community with the hope that constant engagement and negotiation will help resolve the outstanding issues. However, frustrated traders say it is the time an independent arbiter is established to resolve these issues with sanctions sometimes issued to defying members. Jackson Onyango, NTV.